Hello and welcome to a new Unreal Engine video and uh, today I think we're going to take a look at doing an examination system so you know like a typical horror game where you have like the notes that you pick up and you want to look at it or like any items so to get started it's very simple we're going to do a component to component type of system so this should be good compatibility wise and so let's see so your first person character what we're going to actually do is move all the inputs and stuff like that from the first person character into its own component. So the character is going to look a little weird. So the character's event graph, we're going to have this examine component, which is going to be a scene component at a location that we want to examine at. But this exam component is also going to hold of all of our logic and like movement logic. So Basically, we have an as, we have an interface for our first person character. That's pretty standard stuff. But this stuff is all going to be disconnected. So this stuff now is going to be moved into an exam component, which it's added here. Because this is basically where you want to look at, you want to have the item like sit in front of the camera. So that's why it's here. The exam component then encapsulates all that um, logic now, because we can now see if we have something in our hand. So that's the reason for that. So that's an interface for the first person character. So the exam system then has something. So now we have a look at location with a scene component, right? So this is our exam component. We have our, also we have a pickup. So this is how we're going to denote what we're going to be being able to pick up. So we've got a simple act pickup actor and a pickup component. The pickup component, along with the interface for the pickup component. So you can see the component here as that interface here that pickup component because basically um when you grab it off of the actor it doesn't have the it doesn't have it's not casted to it so we need just a just a simple component or simple interface with the as but yeah so the pickup component here is only going to do like two things three things so the pickup component holds the owner and the current transform so the world transform and it also holds the exam rotation and scale. So basically on pickup, we have this custom pickup. We'll attach it to actor to component. We'll attach the owner to this scene component we're being passed in, snap to target, snap to target for all of them. And then we set the rotation and then the scale based off these values. So we can adjust these pickup components per item for the rotation and the scale. We've got the drop, which is a detach, and then it resets the the transform to whatever it was uh, before we picked it up. So that's our pickup component. The actor is just the just an actor with that component on it and a, some meshes. That's about it. So yeah, so we have the interface. You have the item, or the interface that goes on this component, and that's the pickup. Now for the examine, now this is where all of our meat and potatoes are. This goes on our character, it goes right here for the location, like I said. And basically what this is gonna do is on, on the play, we'll grab, we'll grab our first person character and we'll start look at. Now this is basically a simple line trace from the character, that's it. I mean, all it's doing is going through, looking for the hit actor that has that pickup component, and then saving it. And then it's also saving the component itself this is this is the thing that i was saying about needing the interface call because this comes back as an actor component we need to send it to a pickup component so we'll do a interface call so that being said now we can have we have pickup we have hit actors we have things like this running on a timer loop because of course it's just a it's just a update on a timer event we have a stop which is a clear we got get, we got stop. And then here's where all of our movement is. So basically we move the movement and the the looking at into this component. Because now we can say is examining, which is basically do we have something in our hand? That's what we have a handful. Of, I mean all these variables should be make sense if you've been if you've checked out like the last videos or something like that. A lot of these make sense with the update time, timer handle, look at distance, like they're just fairly simple stuff. And then the ex we can see here now we can branch is examining 
um, basically are we don't we have anything in their hand if we don't then we'll use the controller if we do what we'll do is we'll just set a local rotation on this on the scene component basically and uh it'll it'll rotate the item that we have in hand because it'll be attached to this component and you'll see that here so we also have the move which we can just disable the movement just by this, this boolean value and then we can just add the movement from this first person character simple stuff so what do we actually do when we pick something up? So when we when we run that tick or you know that update loop, we get a hit actor, we check to see if it's valid. When we press E, yeah, we'll check to see if it's valid. And then if we have something, if we don't have something in our hand, we'll just pick it up. And so this hit actor, our, our component, it'll run that pickup. Here, it'll run this pickup, it'll attach the actor, it'll set the rotation, things like that. And then we'll set it to true is examining. And then off of if it's pressed, if it's valid, and then if we're not, um, basically, we're just going to drop it on the other side if we pick it up and put it down. Now you can send it to, like, if you wanted to, you could send the hit actor to your inventory right here. Instead of dropping, you can send it to the inventory. But uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll loop through. We'll just check to see if we have a pickup component. We do. We'll save the component. We'll save the actor. And if we hit E, we'll attach it to the self, this examine component, basically, and then it'll be snapped to right in front of our camera. And so we'll pick it up. We'll snap it to the camera. It'll set it to true, So which means now um, we'll be running off this false line. So now we'll be setting the rotation for this for the actual held actor because that's what we're we're rotating because this examine component is kind of like your virtual hand so that's what it what it's doing so now if we see this in action we can see i've got a couple of boxes um i probably should have enabled the line trace but it's just the line trace from the center of the camera so you can kind of get a good idea and when we hit e we pick it up we can examine and things rotate and turn and and it goes back to normal we can go here and of course this works with pretty much anything because it's a it's an actor component that's running off this pickup so the pickup component you can put on whatever your own your own actors and then you can do whatever you like so i hope you found that helpful and uh thanks for watching i will see you in the next one